For your pastry, bakery and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for birthdays, weddings and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice, ebe and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story building three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, TV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic microfinance, we provide savings products current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Thank you. I'm sorry that you cannot see me, technology, um, but I would like to welcome everyone to this um, auspicious occasion for who have graduated from the eight weeks business training program run by the Nova Scotia Gambia Association and Venture to Impact. Um, partnerships on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. 
the Gambia, and Canada. Thank you everyone for coming. Um, participants, thank you for taking eight weeks of your time to attend the training programs as well as the mentorship sessions. I would like to thank the Venture to Impact program team and uh, the leadership from the executive director, Fadi, whom I met in Halifax uh, in 2019. I would like to thank him for the leadership. I would like to thank Emily uh, as the program uh, manager for the leadership. Uh, we've worked through the program, the technical uh, program ideation to this level. I thank Brianna also for joining us and managing the internship very well and coordinating the internship program very well, coordinating the volunteers. So I would like to thank uh, the entire Venture to Impact uh, team from Canada. And I would like to thank my able staff here in the Gambia, uh, with Francois S. Mendy as the senior project manager uh, and program lead for the Nova Scotia Gambia Association from this side uh, for his patience, hard work, and dedication to ensure that this program is a success today. I thank him for that leadership. And to our able intern, the volunteer, Bintu Kor, who joined us sometime along the line. And Bintu was really a very quick and fast learner who was able to grab a um, very good understanding of the program within that short period of time and was able to take it up from there. Uh, and in her safe hands, Francois was able to lean a little bit and rest and see Bintu steer the wheel uh, with Emily and Brianna. So this is great. At some point, myself and Emily were, were less busy with the program and uh, Brianna, uh, and uh, Bintu were really working together and Francois, and Francois had to rest a little bit sometime along the line. So I thank all of them for the hard work. Uh, I think this would not have been a success without the teamwork and collaboration we have enjoyed together as partners on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. So I thank everyone for coming here. Uh, for participants, I will not take much of the time for this occasion. I would like to say thank you for your hard work. It is time to celebrate and enjoy uh, the hard work you really put into this. You are as ambassadors of the Gambia's young people. You have participated in this pilot project and we hope that we will have further steps in taking this uh, initiative further to engage other young people in the program. But you are the ambassadors and you can speak to others about the success of the program. So continue to become ambassadors of the program. Take, make good use of the skills you have learned from this training. And we'll be happy to see all of you succeed in your various business ideas to become very successful entrepreneurs in the Gambia. And hey, you never know, the next millionaire from the Gambia may be one of you. You never can tell. Don't underestimate your, your abilities. Don't underestimate your strengths. I believe in you, and I believe that uh, we have made the best selection to make you to be part of this pilot program. On that note, I would like to stop here to hand over the button to the rest of uh, those in the line to give the beautiful speeches. Thank you. Program. I think it's no small feat that you guys participated in an eight-week intensive program with weekly sessions and responsibilities, and it's just a true testament to your commitment, to your drive, and to your interest in bettering yourselves and your community. So congratulations. Um, to my skilled volunteers, and I see a few of you uh, here on the line today. Thank you guys so much for, for your dedication, for your commitment, for tuning into this program and, and supporting the students from, from around the world. You know, we really couldn't run this initiative without your 
your dedication and your investment in, in the work that we're doing and in this particular pilot program. And finally, to the NSGA staff and executing team on this program specifically, uh, you were all amazing partners to work with. Uh, we appreciate all the organizational skills that you provided, the project management support that you were able to dedicate for this project, and of course, all the strategic and cultural guidance that you provided to make sure that this project is impactful for the youth and the community in general. And then finally, just a massive congrats to my team for pull pulling off this amazing project. Uh, great work, guys. I'm super proud of you. And I can't wait to see how this pilot program is going to evolve. So thank you all so much. We're so excited to be here. And we're so excited to have started this, this training opportunity uh, with, with the youth and the NSGA uh, staff team. And I can't wait to see how this is going to um, expand over, over the years. Brianna, over to you. Thank you so much for those words as well, Fatty. Um, and so now, Bintu, our faithful volunteer and local entrepreneur, um, also wants to share some words with all of you. I would also like to thank Brianna and Francois for being um, such an amazing um, team and great leadership skills also. And Abdu for trusting the process too for us to get the lead on. Um, just before we get started, I would also like to express our gratitude to the Venture to Impact team who generously um, facilitated this program. We couldn't have done it better without them. Also acknowledging my um, volunteer appointment to support the NSG Venture to Impact pilot project on delivering business training and mentoring program to Gambian youth as part of the corporate social responsibility that I think I owe them. Um, I think we can all agree that youth entrepreneurship has been recognized as an, as an important source of economic growth as they are job creators. They create self-employment opportunities for themselves and others. We still struggle to attain economic independence and young people have a great influence towards achieving that goal. So I think having them trained as entrepreneurs will really support that cause. I gladly welcome everyone on board and also thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to learn and teach others. Thank you, Abdu, and the Venture to Impact team. I think that's all I have to say. And also welcoming Soam and Jai also for being, agreeing to do the entrepreneurship talk. Welcome, Soam. Thank you. want to start by thanking everyone here um, and my first thanks goes to Nova Scotia Canada for giving um, us the opportunity to attend such a training then I also thank um, Nova Scotia Gambia for giving us the opportunity and for using the right channels to get us into this forum today 
I also say a very big thanks to the National Youth Council, that is NYC, for identifying the right amount of people or association to come and attend this training today. I also said a very big thanks to our trainers and mentors, most especially to my mentor, Anne, who has been always been there for me and has been someone who is always willing to respond to my calls. You know, anytime I text or send email, she'll be there to clear my doubts. So I say thank you so much, Anne. I really appreciate your effort and I really appreciate your hard work. You are the best mentor so far. So I will also say thank you to Pinta Core for always being here for us. She has been running both days and night in making so um, we got what we want from this training. And also a very big thanks to Francois Mendy. Of course, Francois has did a very grateful job for us. Since the first day, we have been going up and down, running both days and night in making sure we get what we want from the training. And also a very big thanks to the executive director, Mr. Abdu, for giving us the opportunity, for giving us the environment, for allowing us to use your venue. We say a very big thanks to you. And also to the entire staff of NSGA Gambia for, for, for making the venue so friendly and also so welcoming to us. I also say a very big thanks to Emily for, for being here for us. Emily, of course, have also done a very wonderful work. We appreciate it, we love it, and we pray that may, may you achieve all what you want here in, in, in the coming future. And also to Brian, of course. Brian also have been someone who is always willing to, 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 to make so we achieve what we want um, uh, during the training. So I finally say thank you all um, to the participants for always being very friendly. Of course, participants, we are all very welcoming and very friendly. If we meet here as a team, we always want to stay and we want to stay long. This is because of the, the, the friendly faces, the, the happy welcoming and whatsoever. So I say a very big thanks to you all. I love you and I appreciate you all. So uh, then to the uh, business training, that was of course what brought us all here. It was, of course, a very successful training and a very fruitful one for everybody here, I believe, most especially to myself too. So before coming here, to be frank with you, business was something that never interested me, uh, you know, because my understanding of what business was, and today what I understand what business is have really motivated me. And in fact, I will want to love, uh, I will want to work further in, in, in any business related issue in making so um, I help to impact people's uh, business, uh, people's lives, sorry. Because I believe with business, we can all make it. So I have learned a lot, obviously, and I believe this thing will really help me, not just for today, but in the future. So I say a very big thanks to you all. And also, I will want to make some recommendations. Of course, this was the first time having such, 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 such a training here, though it was at times very difficult because due to some issues. So I also have some recommendations that I believe will help when we are to have such um, uh, training or whatsoever again. And my first recommendation is um, because sometimes it was difficult if you are to speak, you have to come and sit and face the computer for, for the people to get what you are saying, most especially those that we are not present here. So my recommendation to this is maybe next time uh, Nova Scotia, Gambia or Nova Scotia, Canada or whatsoever, so, so try and get an alternative to this so you can sit wherever you are sitting and say whatsoever you want to say without moving from one place to another. For example, they can get us mics or whatsoever. That was the first recommendation I have for them. And the other recommendation is always making sure um, there is plan B, because it's very, very important. In anything you do, plan A alone is not safe. It means when plan A fails, the entire activity is going to fail. So my other recommendation is, if you are to have such trainings again, you know here, network is always a problem. But let Nova Scotia, Gambia, C, or any other one see if, if there can be plan B that can help us in case there is internet breakdown or whatsoever. It's the one who have knowledge and share among others. And so I believe the knowledge that we gathered here, it is very important for us and we're going to implement it as we, we, we learn it. Uh, when I was coming here, uh, uh, my plans was to know how to develop a business, how to do a marketing, how to do branding. 
and all this has been achieved during this course. So I'm saying thank you to all of you. I'm saying thank you to my uh, mentor, that is Tiffany. Uh, she did a lot and she really helped us a lot. So thank you very much and thanks to NSGA, NYC, everybody that uh, involved in this activity. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Aminata Sise. And before going further, I would like to say thank you to all trainers and mentors for the amazing work and motivations. Indeed, it was a success. We have learned a lot about business, pertaining, to how, uh, pertaining on how to uh, work on your brand, and we have learned many, many more things. And indeed, it was a success for us. And it gives me a lot of ideas on how to, on how to work on my business and how to make it a, a very successful one. So I would also like to thank the association I come from, that is YEP Africa, more especially to Sire. And also I would like to thank the NS, NS, NSGA office, especially Francois, been to for the wonderful work and your time and the sacrifice you made for us. Thank you. Good evening, hey, Brianna. Um, my name is um, Hadin Yang, and I was part of the training. Already recommendations have been sent through the, um, through the um, link that was shared. So I would just say thank you to the, train, um, to the trainers and all the mentors, especially my mentor, Videl. And thank you to you, Brianna, for moderating the training throughout. Francois for calling us every week, trying to remind us that we are supposed to be here. And to NSGA for allowing us to use their space and their internet connection. And I don't know if the recommendations that we sent are going to um, be reviewed by NSGA, but I would like to make it here so that they, um, okay, so, um, so, what I want to um, say to NSGA is um, next time if such opportunities come, please do extend it to the rural Gambia because most of these opportunities are concentrated here and they, they, should, be, they, they should feel that they're part of us and this should go across the country. And again to my colleagues here, think big, um, be smart and always believe in yourself because it's everything. When you know your purpose, you know your drive, then you definitely go for it. Thank you everyone. I am Suleiman Iwan, uh, a journalist. I understand that you train uh, 18 young people in the Gambia here, uh, about two months training on mentorship and uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, can you tell us the aims and objective of this training? The question is, can I tell you the impact of this training? Is that the question? The aims and objective of the training, why do you organize this training for the young people? Yeah, of course. Uh, so thank you for your question. I think uh, as an organization, we believe that entrepreneurship is uh, one of the core drivers of economic development, uh, specifically when it comes to uh, youth employment uh, or youth uh, solving youth employment or solving youth underemployment. And um, I think at a time where uh, the COVID-19 virus uh, has plagued the world, we know that a lot of the data indicated that many of the vulnerable kind of populations that lost their employment status are specifically youth and women. So we wanted to create a program where those who have been impacted the most can have the ability to step back and think about potential entrepreneurship or business opportunities that they can activate on within their own communities and, um, and, and kind of use that time to figure out what what specific things that they can do specifically and, and align them with training, resources, and, and mentorship to, uh, um, to, 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 to enable them to do that specifically. All right, uh, actually train these uh, young people. Uh, what impact do you think it will have on them? What impact do you think yeah, that you need? That's a great question. I think uh, from an impact perspective, this is an 
introduction to entrepreneurship. So we're taking a lot of people that might have very informal entrepreneurship experience to people who have no entrepreneurship experience whatsoever. So we know that the impact is not going to be uh, around building massive scaled enterprises at this point. I think that at this point, the impact is going to be around education um, on entrepreneurship and best practices on entrepreneurship, education around uh, good ideas to potentially think about in terms of starting a business, uh, awareness and knowledge on go-to-market strategy, promoting a business, and bootstrapping a business, which means when you have a small idea and a, sc a small concept, understanding exactly who you are trying to benefit, who is the target audience for this idea, and how you can reach to the reach to them to deliver that idea or service. So I think that is going to be the, the immediate impact. It's more going to be around education, confidence, and awareness of the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Hopefully in the future, you know, in the intermediate term, we can see the creation of scaled enterprises, but um, that should be thought about from an intermediate or a long-term impact rather than an immediate impact of this program. This is about 18 participants out of thousands of young people in the country here. Uh, does your organization have any intention to you know, organize further trainings for young people in the Gambia here? Thank you so much for your question. I think one of the things that we wanted to do with the Nova Scotia Gambia Association is think about this program from a pilot perspective. So how can we test something uh, with... Uh, limited resources, limited amount of participants, and limited amount of volunteers to really think about what is going to work for the Gambian context specifically, and to also really think about how this is going to be delivered. You know, are we going to use Zoom? Will youth have access to laptops, or will they have access to data packages, or is there going to be transportation allowance that we have to, to account for? There were a lot of things that we wanted to test for the first time, and we wanted to uh, ensure that we're testing on a very small sample of participants and volunteers to, to really learn as much as possible and limit our margin of error. At this point, I'm really excited to come back to the table and to come back to the conversation with the Nova Scotia Gambia Association to really take a critical look at how this pilot went and think through what are the things that we could potentially do uh, to ensure the sustainability and scalability of such programs. You have trained these young people, and these, some of them are young people from very poor background. Probably they don't have uh, financial support to establish business despite having the skills and the knowledge from the training here. Uh, do you have plans to provide uh, financial support in the form of grants uh, to support the young people? Yeah, I think, again, that's a really great question. And, and I think the, the, the answer or the thinking to that would be within a scaled approach. So having tried this pilot, we have to come back and really think about what have we learned and then also think about what does it look like for us to increase our offering or scale our offering to benefit more people or to benefit the same people in a, in a radically different way. Uh, so I'm looking forward to those conversations with the um, Nova Scotia Gambia Association to really think about how do we build on the success of this program and how do we continue to, to think about the the, the other offerings that we need to include in the program to ensure the success of the students. The young people have expressed you know, happiness uh, for the training, uh, but they spend about two months here, spend a lot of resources. What advice do you have for them? 
I think my advice for anybody that's thinking about um, an entrepreneurial journey is to really focus on value, to really understand how do you create value for your community or for the specific audience that you are trying to serve. Entrepreneurship is not about running a business. It's not about being uh, a, a, a manager or a leader or a, a boss in some way. It's really about finding a way to add value to a community or to an audience that is not currently being served and to add this value as quickly as possible to really make sure that you are ahead of competition and in a way that's as focused as possible. So really understanding how you bring value, what is your unique value prop and who are you trying to serve and then just go as quickly as possible to really make sure that you are um, a leader in that space and that you are really prompt in serving your specific audience. So that would be my advice. Focus on value and serve people. Are you working with partners in the, you're working with partners in the Gambia, that is NSGA. How impressed are you to them? Can you repeat the question? Please? How impressed are you, you know, with your partners in the Gambia, that is NSGA? How happy are you, you know, with them? Yeah, I'd say NSGA has been an incredible partner. They have been just so prompt with communications. They have incredible project management skills. They're able to deliver on the things that they promise in terms of rallying the youth, securing office space, organizing everybody, providing amazing logistical and strategic support. So I think the NSGA is... Um, you know, a key component to, to the success of this program. And I don't know if this program, if um, our intervention or our um, solution or um, the, the whole ecosystem would exist without the foundation of the NSGA being really, really strong on the ground and being able to really drive this program both logistically and strategically. Sir, thank you for having you. Thank you, guys. Tell us more about this train. Uh, this is um, an eight weeks uh, training program for about 20 young people. And finally, we had 18 participants that completed the eight weeks course of the program. Uh, the training was purposely to enhance the business management and entrepreneurship skills of young people in the Gambia. And the training involved um, volunteers who are experts in the business industry. These are successful businessmen and women who initiated their own companies, their own brands, uh, and worked in, in those industries to the level where they either retired who are still actively managing those businesses. So we have recruited these volunteers from the USA and from Canada, I would say from North America, and, and they're in Canada, for, and they were able to connect with the trainees on this side, and they were each uh, paired with, they were each paired with mentors, and these mentors were able to take them through their business plans, development, and coaching and providing mentorship to them as they progress along the, their various plans to the extent that they worked on their marketing strategies or marketing plans and uh, completed the program successfully. Basically, I want to know where are all these 18, um, how to call it, participants are from, what kind of business are they running as well? Thank you very much for that question. Um, the participants were drawn from different parts of the Greater Banjul area uh, and by extension to the West Coast region. Uh, but by virtue of the partnership we have with the National Youth Council under the Ministry of Youth and Sports, we, we wrote to the National Youth Council inviting them to help support us in identifying uh, the various youth groups around these two regions uh, and to have participants selected from these youth groups to come and attend the training. So this is a pilot 
program. It's a pilot project that we have started with the 18 young people. But it is our intention to scale this up and to roll it out countrywide. And that is the time when we will go to the provincial regions, as one of the participants uh, reiterated, that there's a need for such a great training opportunity for young people in the up country. And that is already uh, like the director, executive director of uh, Venture to Impact rightly put it. After this uh, program, we're going to go back to reflect on the successes of the pilot uh, and learn lessons from that for us to prepare well to uh, scale this up in other parts of the, re the country. But for now, with this pilot, we have drawn participants only from the Greater Banjul area and by extension the West Coast region. And they came from various established youth groups that were registered with the National Youth Council. So you would see each and every participant here is representing a viable and active youth group within the two regions. Thank you. Well, I think it, it was a need because right now we can all agree that entrepreneurship is, is one thing that young people will need to venture into something at least it will create that employment platform that we are all trying to struggle with so having to get them trained as entrepreneurs will give them the opportunity to be self-employed and then create employment opportunities for others so i think it's uh we we taught them how to develop a business model being able to make a, a business plan uh, marketing and also sales and being able to work on themselves as independent entrepreneurs. Yeah, those were the areas. Yeah, the advice I'll give to them is to make sure they apply what they've learned and, and, and be um, strong enough to believe that this um, thing that they've learned is applicable and it will benefit them if it is applied. So I think they're independent enough to go out there and make something on their own. Mm -hmm. Venture. I am um, welcoming and then trying to say to all organizations that they should come on board. I think employment is very crucial right now, and then having to train more entrepreneurs will give them the platform to be self employed and, like I said, employ other people. So they should really look into this entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship training to make sure that we have more young people that are trained in this area. I understand that uh, the employment in this country is uh, uh, definitely high. And this country is high. Uh, yeah. How great is that unique country to improve? It's like going back to the same thing as young people, because we have a greater percentage of young people in this country. Imagine if they are underemployed, so the crime rate will be higher. So get them getting this access to this training will at least give them an opportunity to go out there and do something. So it will keep them engaged. I think the training will do a lot in giving them the confidence and the know-how to really go out there and do something on their own. During the, the interview, we are speaking Do you have any issues with your parents in Canada regarding the 
Yes. Um, the actual thing is that this was a pilot program. They decided to do in the combo area here. So I think the second phase, we are trying to go to up country, like the LR, CR, um, yeah, and the, and the rest of the regions up, up country. So this is just a pilot program. We are hoping to channel out on the urban area, rural areas. So I'm hoping that they're going to come on board and they've seen the result this has made. So it's many, obvious. Many but activists have said that uh, many young people alone is not sufficient. There is a need to give them the financial support. We're going to get there. It's one of the things that we've already discussed with them. So as this was a pilot program, these are the, the, the issues that were raised. And we hope that they're going to look into it as trying to at least give them a seed that we call a startup money, something they can start up with. So it's one of the things that we expect them to do. Yeah, thank you. My name is Swaruka, and I am a final year nursing student at the UTG. And I'm also a participant at the Venture to Impact training program that has been held at the NSGA office. Um, coming here at first, I'm not going to lie, I was not exactly into business, but my concept has changed broadly because we've been introduced to ways um, that you can identify a business problem and find a solution to it, marketing and sales techniques, and also um, a way to execute a business and financial plan for a successful business. Yeah. Um, first of all, in order to be an entrepreneur, you have to be a risk taker, and you also have to have patience at some point, and you also have need to have confidence. So um, the brand you also make for your business sells your business, and you need to also conduct a market research. And then with that market research, you could use the right strategies and then you target the right people that you're going to sell your business to. And with a business plan, you could also guide your business, and which could lead to a successful business. Without a business plan, it's like you're just carrying out things in no particular order. So I think that actually helps. And we've been introduced to those key concepts and basically my knowledge on that has really improved. Yeah. Um in order to start a business you need capital. So basically right now one most important thing is capital that you could use to start the business. So that's one thing. You have the Ghanaian government, you also have um, you know, your trainers here and the other part of the institution. What we see in your country is you complain that you need to finance your business. What we see in your country? Okay. Bringing these opportunities to youth is a good initiative, and I believe it should also be extended to all youth, being it in the combos and the ones that are at the provinces. But then incentives should also be made to help them build with um, when it comes to capital. They should at least help with startup um, incentives for these individuals that are going to be involved in these training um, programs. This would actually help you implement what you've been taught into action. I believe that should help. My name is Joe Bonge. I am an environmentalist and I'm, uh, I'm one of the uh, candidates for the Venture to Impact uh, training. And um, uh, I've, been, uh, I've gone through uh, several months of tr mentorship and training that uh, basically has impacted me to prepare me for um, uh, an entrepreneurship challenge that I'll be working on. Well, my first challenge is actually uh, an eco-entrepreneurship business on solar 
which I intend to uh, venture into. And um, my skills that I have gained is basically on business planning and uh, marketing skills, and as well as uh, financial management ethics and um, uh, also uh, how to be innovative in terms of um, in what is available in the market. As you all know, uh, the, the world is diversifying to a green economy, and this is an opportunity uh, that uh, I will use the skill to actually create my own business uh, than just be a job seeker. So I hope to replicate this with other communities and uh, other young people as well at large as a, as a youth leader. So do you think this training has helped you to run your own business in the future? Well, absolutely, yes. The training has actually impacted me, yes. And uh, what should have been taught in the two years, probably in university or tertiary institution, was basically compressed and comp I mean comprehensive process which was taken and uh, we've also gained experience with other mentors who are currently running business in other parts of the world and also best practices from other uh, experienced volunteers here. So the, the knowledge gain absolutely had uh, better prepare me to have a startup uh, for a start. As you know, job is, is basically uh, an issue. And I think with these skills, I and my colleagues will definitely make headways in creating our own business because the, the, the skills that we gain is really, really very useful with the different tools and models that we are taking through. It's fantastic and I'm very ready for the job market and not just for the job market but to create job and make some big money. Well, for young people out there, uh, don't, don't, don't wait for uh, politicians to tell you that job is available. And uh, don't just sit and seek for job, but uh, you have to uh, believe in yourself. There is a huge uh, potential uh, out there, and there is a huge uh, I mean, gift that you have inside you. Tap the potential out there by using your own gift and believe in yourself and create jobs for yourself. Seek out for opportunities that will impact you and give you knowledge and skills and try how best you can also network with other young people in realizing the dream uh, that uh, uh, you've set for yourself as a goal in actualizing the vision that you have in mind. So don't wait, do it by yourself and network as much as well. Wow. We do have bundles as well. Hair, 
C'est ce qu'on a fait. On a fait des jigènes de la femme. On a fait des jigènes de la femme. Wow. Si tu veux dire, si tu as un suitcase classique, on a fait des Samsonite. On a fait des suitcases d'autres que Samsonite. Comme ce que je veux dire, si on est à l'aéroport, on a fait des Samsonite. On a fait des Samsonite. Wow. Vous avez dit, wow. Skin. Si on a fait des skin care products, si on a fait des skin care products, on a fait des skin care products. Je suis une spécialité de skin care. Je sais que c'est ce qui est le plus important. C'est ce qui est le plus important. Il y a Patricia Reiner, Kiwi Eye The Whole Range, Lighten Up Gold, Tomatine. La liste peut juste aller à l'heure et à l'heure et à l'heure. Tout ce que vous avez fait, c'est ce qui est le plus important. La skin care plus, c'est ce qui est le plus important. Nous sommes aux Etats-Unis. Nous sommes aux Etats-Unis. Mais si vous avez fait ça partout en Europe, Muna ilaku mail within three days rek nyeti fund rek ngajot saya diu. Emu insulur rek dan lah consult kami. Balanya lah jadi diu. Dengan def a free consultation purubah lah rek exactly linga hamne mo minggu aksa kanam. Dengan jen wah tamin rek am neng perfumes you know fragrances, men shirts, accessories. We do do dresses as well. We do blouses. I mean we do shoes. Name it, we do them. Skin Care Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero tasks. Who make any real me fit? Can what are perfect tasks? Can what are fit? I'm problem with canam. Can what are fit? I'm problem with picture. Book a man who fake and erect new law. Keep a last with fee. Albaga. Yo, ngat transfer lah tu. Ya transfer lah. Ha, code ni je. Okay. Insi lah ID sorang. Ha, sah sorang. Sorry. Agak tak? Bilang bro. Albaga. Albaga. Bara Allah sah di sorang teriak. Ha, bara. Mau kira nak nunggu nunggu bara teriak. Ha, jangan nunggu mana forest de biru. Gambia tongkon nak nunggu bara ya biru. Ha, biru kau yang nak fokato. Bara isi kodok kino kato ni fobolong blabe. 56 branches more of the Gambia. Huh? Ka. Gambia Kono and in Gambia Bantala Bangul. Nka Kono Kia Beret. Kodo Sifa Sifa for Falindiro for Nadi left a member of Kodito Koton in Kodimaro. Janum number one in Yonda. And Nun for another another enterprise is Sotali. Wall of Wallam Nindipo, Domoral Fanan Kul for Nade Fidal in the Daddy Man in Domoral in Fanny Petiat. Gambia Dauda Yalom of Fakindo Sotali. Ah, one more. Ah, a parent of Yalom Kandel left a Yal and Kendall every night. Yale Bukani of Wall, Abarka Yalom del Chosano. Abarka. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future 
of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.